Lisa, I have a riddle for you. You like riddles? I don't, love riddles. Don't look over there because the answer's right oh, okay. there. Oh, uh, okay. What stands approximately six feet tall at the okay. shoulder? That's taller than me. What weighs about 2,000 pounds and is a world famous icon for Anheuser Busch? Okay, well, the, now you can look. I was going to say, the Anheuser Busch gives it away because there's a lot of things that are six feet tall, but these guys, the Clydesdales, of course, that is really exciting. It's mm -hmm. their last stop today in Southwest Florida. So if you want to go, you're going to want to check them out. But if you can't make it, don't worry. Nolani has you covered this morning. She's with them in Alva right now. What are you doing now, Nolani? Yeah, I think I just found one of my favorite horse, but, or Clydesdale, because this thing is a thing in itself. The gentle giant literally describes it perfectly. This is Cash, and Rudy here is going to tell us a little bit about, we're actually preparing, or I'm not preparing, <laughs> but uh, we're showing them kind of getting ready for their last event here in Fort Myers. So kind of what is the process of getting these gentle giants ready for a big event. So this is Cash, he's one of the lead horses. Oh. He'll be up front today and it takes about five hours to get the Clydesdales all prepped and ready for his show. And so we started about six o'clock this morning. Cash got his white feathers all washed and all white and he yeah, got so groomed, he... his body groomed. And uh, then in a little bit we will be braiding his manes and his tail and then yes. we will take him to Century Lake and we'll be there about 11 o'clock and we'll hitch him to the wagon. We travel about 300 days a year um, all around the country. There's three teams of us. We're based out of St. Louis, Missouri, and then we have an East Coast team and a West Coast team. And we all travel with 10 Clydesdales. We hitch eight of them to the wagon, so we have two spares. And along with our Clydesdales, we also have our Dalmatians. And yes. ours names are Bud and Augie. They've been hanging out here. You'll catch them, I'm sure, at some point. They've been uh, having some fun this morning. So um, the event today, where are they going to be this We'll be morning? at Century Link from 11 to 1, and we'll have them all hitched up to the wagon. You'll be able to see Cash. He'll be up front, one of the lead horses. Aww, I believe it. He's a beauty. Well, we will continue getting ready with them this morning in the 8 o'clock show. So we'll bring you a lot more cool stuff, some hair braiding, huh? <laughs> I think, yeah, that's a yes, right? Okay, <laughs> well, I will, oh my goodness. I will toss it back to you guys in the studio. For now, I'm Nolani Matthews. You're watching Fox 4 Morning News. Nolani could be a Clydesdale. She has black hair. <laughs> Not <laughs> Yeah. Twins. In case you missed Wait, it this morning. Was that, a, was that a compliment or? It's a total compliment. If you weren't with us earlier this morning, Trent was talking about how he can't be a Clydesdale because he's not six feet tall. Just, just short. Otherwise, he could totally be a Clydesdale. That's the yeah. only reason he's not. But Nolani, you are beautiful and majestic. Yep, just just like, a like the Clydesdales. Just saying. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>